Hi, everybody. Will Faber here, and I'm here with Darcy Brangini. We're getting ready to start a lesson, so let's uh, catch up with her how this week has gone with him. Sure. So it was a bit of a light week riding. I don't even know what happened. Oh, because we went away for part of the weekend. Um, mm -hmm. But both times that I rode, I it went back to, like, getting on the lunge line. Um, it's just he's still kind of sticky and doesn't want to move forward and kind of getting threatening and stuff like that, like where he pins his ears back when you try to, like, move him. Mm -hmm. Um, but as soon as you put him on the lunge line, I mean, it took a little longer this last time, but when you get him yeah. on the lunge line, you know, more or less, like you, you can work through it pretty quickly. So yeah. that's just, okay. so, I mean, I guess I would give him the benefit of the doubt and say must, you know, something physical must be bothering him. But then why, when you put him on the lunge line, does he just kind of <laughs> figure it out? Right? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that could be just that. So let's go ahead and start on the lunge line then and get him going and see how okay. we go. <laughs> as i said these are the kind of horses that are kind of slow to wake up you know <laughs> yeah i would say so today especially he's like a ton of dynamite generally <clears throat> Where are you going? No. Nope. Calvin. Oh boy. Okay, come on. This way. <laughs> Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, he does. He likes to get ready for his workout. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Okay. Come on. That's a great room, room, uh, ring crew you got going there. <laughs> get out quickly and get that. Come on. You don't have to pee, I don't think. I'm going to let him try, but try. he um, just went like maybe an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, but I do it every time. <laughs> I really don't think he has to go, but we'll give him a second here. Give him the benefit of the doubt for a moment. Okay, I think I'm going to push him on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That looks like a stall tactic at this point. Yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, waking up. Come on, get those legs moving. There you go. Come on. That's more like it. Keep giving him a few taps to see if we can open that walk up a little bit there. Actually, it looks like he got a few extra mouthfuls of hay of grass this week. Yeah, you think he looks a little bit more like he's got? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he looks a little fatty today. <laughs> it's funny because I was like, how does that happen in a week? I haven't changed well, anything. There's, you know, these kind of horses gain weight so fast. They can stuff them bellies. Walk on. 
Yeah, I guess the only thing I have changed, I haven't changed anything is diet, but he didn't get a lot of exercise this week, so yeah. maybe that is it. Yeah, it's getting better. Keep opening up that walk. Get a little more swing in it. I think he might poop again, but I can't. Yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's like, okay. I got lots of stalls. Now I got to scratch yeah, myself. Now I got to scratch. Now I got this. Okay. <laughs> it's getting better. Yeah, it definitely has a little more belly this afternoon. Walk on. Good boy. That's looking better. And have a little energy in it. Okay. Yep. Good. As you come around to the wall on the next side, there you go, nice to trot. Let's see what he does. Walk on. Walk on. Good boy. Ready? And drop. Drop. <laughs> ah, ah. I, if I don't get behind him, that's exactly what happened. I got yep. ahead of him a little. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, Calvin. Whoa. Come on. No. Go on. Ah, ah. No. Good there. Got a good trot now. Starting to get better. He's already starting to pull his belly up a bit. So that's good. Take on. Good. Come on. Like it. Come on. Good there. Really nice now. Good. Go ahead and let him canter if he wants to. Go ahead and ask him to canter. Ready? Canter. Come on. Canter. He 
Keep it going. Come on, can I turn? Yeah. Come on. Now well, let him come back to the trough. <laughs> exhausted. Keep going there. Come on. Looking better. Belly is pulling up now. And have a little bit of spring on. Keep that going. Good. Much better now. Ask him to canter again. Ready? Canter. Keep it going. Keep it going. And back to a trot again. And trot. Trot. Yeah, that's getting better there. Starting to swing. Yeah. Much more like it. That for a moment. Yeah, there, right there. It's really good. Right there. Now let him walk and yeah. then halt and go ahead and change directions. Walk on. And whoa. So I think I just, the longer lunge whip doesn't really work for me. I always miss. Oh, yeah. But if you see, like I end up cantering with him the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a good workout lately. There you go. But I don't know. It's, I can't sustain it in order to keep him going as long as I want. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could always have Ron come out and be your whip man. Yeah, that's true. When you need a little extra help. Have him run around. <laughs> uh, uh, let him run around. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you stand still? Come on. Boy. Better. I go ahead and ask him to trot. Ready? And trot. Good boy. More active. Yep, go on. Good there. Get a little more active, see if you can get a little more out of there. Good. Come on, chop. Better. Keep that going. Is Ron still in there with you? Yeah, he is. Good. Oh, he's actually in the aisle way, I think. Uh -oh. Yeah, go ahead and let him walk. Ask Ron to come out and help you. I want to set up a little. Let's take him over walk. a little bit of a jump and see what he does. Okay. Hey, Ron. So we'll start with just a pole on the ground. Ron. He's coming. Oh. Walk on.
You're a good boy. I asked Marnie if she would get on Calvin when yeah. she comes to get um, Trigger because I thought it might be helpful just to. That would be good, yeah, by all means. And I asked her if she would come check his saddle when she's here yeah. too. Yeah, that be good to Just do in case, you know. Yeah. Exactly. I think it was done in May. I mean, it looks like it's sitting there nicely. I'm not seeing anything. I know, that's bothered. what I think. And I checked the angle like around his shoulders. Yeah. That all looked yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, he wants you to put up a jump. Yeah. This, so the start was just a pole on the ground with the guidelines the way we did with his horse. Just a pole on the ground to start with. I just want to see if it will spark him a little bit. He's like, what's daddy doing? Come on. It's okay. I don't need to be worried. I can move to you too, Ron. So you want me to start him over that? Yeah, let him go ahead and put the side thing there so it's there. Oh, so that's right. Okay. Let's, yeah, so go ahead and put the side, the wings on it, and the little things that we're going to set it up on. So everything is there, but just a pole on the ground. Okay. Come on. Walk on. Like, can I be done? Come on. Better walk now. Yeah, he really does. Come on. You got the guide pole up there yet? He's got one. Go ahead over the single pole. I don't know where he is. But, yeah, that's good. That's good like that. So you okay. go over that. I just need one pole like that to start with. Okay. So just go over the single pole and then we'll add a little height to it. I don't know what he's going to do. I'm really curious. Uh, I'm going to let him walk over it once. I mean, the ground pole, I think he knows, but I'm saying the jump would be interesting. He usually just wants to sniff it. That's the funny thing. Right. <laughs> I remember to lift that up there. I've got to watch that. Sorry. Yeah, the, the guide pole should be sitting up on that block so that it carries okay. your line. You hear that, Ron? Yeah. Okay. You much better walk now. Yeah, he really does. It just takes these kind of horses a while to light up. You know, they just don't come out like ready to go the way a thoroughbred or something does. I like that. Hey, Ron, that other block though on this side, can you just face yeah. it down before? Not, well, go get the other guy pole and the other poles first. So. You got, you need another pole and you need, we need two more poles. Right. Well, what, what I need right now is just that guide pole to be up on the end of that block so you don't catch your line on the block. That is, yeah. All right. Oh, I see. That, that's all I need to start with. Just the brown pole up so you don't catch your block like that. Perfect now. I'm going over there. <laughs> now go ahead and start a trot. Ready? And trot. Good boy. Come on, trot. Go over that again. 
Be sure you walk with him and try to stay parallel with him as you come down to that jump. When he's going over the pole, you should be parallel with him, kind of. Keep it going so you don't get left behind. So you can go on straight for a minute after the pole. Try to go straight, 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 straight so he doesn't just turn immediately like that. Good. Do that again. Keep that going. Much better. And that little bit of, even just a single pole is enough to get him to lift up a little bit. I can work a little bit harder. Like that. Yeah, Mom. Good boy. Well, that really have to do much. That was really good. Really nice there. Go for that one more time. And then Ron will be ready for the put up the pole. So we'll make it an X after this. That's a really good trot now. Come on. Good. And now if Ron can make it an X, go ahead and walk and let and him walk. walk. And then wait and while walk. Ron sets it up a little bit. So what we want is a ground pole in front and then an X behind it. So he needs two more poles then, right? Yeah, so two more poles. So we want to have a ground pole and then the X sitting behind the ground pole. Which helps him to give him a little takeoff spot. We just need one more pole to be the, so you make an X. And also the ground pole in front of it needs to be like right in front of it, Ron. Okay. Well, yeah, just, you know. Like he's got it kind of spaced out. Yeah, that's okay. Can be a little bit, but, but don't go over it until it, until it. Yeah, I won't. Let's set it there. So we just need one more pole out there. And we'd be He's getting it. He's. Loving his walk right now. Yeah, his walk's beautiful right now, isn't it? Yeah. I know he's capable. Yeah. Well, I just said <laughs> he's been a horse with a little bit of time to get going. Huh? Walk. He's like I'm getting ready. Like the fat boy at the gym class, right? <laughs> yeah. That's one to get going. There you go. There we go. Okay, keep walking. I think we're ready now. Okay. Ron's well, ready. You ready? You can trot on into it. And trot. Oh. See what he does. Ron out of the way? Yeah, he's out of the way. <laughs> Come on. Get with him. Stay Come with on. him. Good boy. Go yeah, around there. Good, no problem. Really nice trot right now. Loving this. Really good, right there. Excellent. Yeah, Mom. Good boy. Go on around there what one more time. What a good boy. Really good trot. Now notice how his belly has really come up now. How much more he's starting to flex his hocks now. Starting to look like a trot. Come on. Come on. Okay, Ron, now go ahead and make it a straight across bar so he has something that he actually has to jump. Go ahead and let him and walk on. again while Ron adjusts the jump. <laughs> Come on. Walk on. Boy. Come on, walk on. A jumping plow horse. Yep. Come on. Oh, we're ready, I guess. Okay, then go ahead and drop. Ready. And enjoy. And drop. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Come on. <laughs> Boy, I go around again. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not jumping it, I'll trot over it. <laughs> go on over again. Come on. That activity is good. Yep. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, all right, keep going. One more time. Loving the trot right now. It looks so good. Come 
good boy. There we go. Now let him walk again. And walk. Okay, Ron, we're going to take it just a little bit higher now. Or actually, you could put a you could put a second pole up if there's a way you can do that. Put above pole behind this, so we see that pole, and then one a little higher, about six inches apart. If that's possible. Yeah, it is, Ron. So if you just put this one right here on those other, okay. the big ones or the taller ones. You're ready for eventing now. Yeah. <laughs> they added something below beginner novice here, actually, now. Oh, really? Oh, good. <laughs> Which cracks me up a little bit just because novice kind of means beginner. Then we have right. beginner novice, and now there's an introductory level. Right. <laughs> That's good, Ron. You just. <laughs> no, Ron, Ron, Ron. Turn those around so that the pole actually sits in the thing. No, just, just, yeah. Because it's not sitting in anything. There you go. That's fine. Mm, not really. Got it? I can't see what he's doing, so I can't. Yeah, that's <laughs> can't. good. And then you just got it. You might have to bring that other one over, Ron. That's all. That's fine. See if that fits in there or if it's not long enough or if it's too long. I mean. There you go. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That's pretty high. Let's see what he does. Right. <laughs> Should we lower <laughs> it? Let's, let's give it a try see what he does. <laughs> oh, no. Ron wants to lower it. Yeah, I want it to be just a little bit higher than the other, but not like a foot higher than the other one. Maybe one of them can be in the groove and one of them not in the groove. That could be enough, but still laying on their sides. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's what he just, okay. So that kind yeah, of In fact, one could be in the groove and they could be on the same plastic thing. Just put yeah. the other one back. That's what he did now. The... Okay, that's what he did. Okay, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I looked at it and I was like, oh boy, I don't know. A little bit high. All right, give it a try. Ready? And trap. Well, sometimes these kind of horses, you gotta, you gotta get challenge them with something to get them to actually start doing Come on. something. Trap. Come on. We're good. Trap. Oh, there you oh, go. You right. did yeah, it. Very nice. <laughs> Trot again. Very nice. Keep that going. Good uh, boy. Liven up a little bit. Very good. Keep that. Come on. That trot. Keep that going. Keep on. Trap. Come on. Oh, honey. <laughs> now, see if you can pick up the tempo a little bit. They're moving a little quicker Come to do it. Oh, good, like that. Good. There we go. Like that. Good. Come on. Keep it going. Like that. Really good. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go, go ahead and just leave it the way it is and go around again. But but tap him and see if you can get him to get a little more lively into it. Okay. Now get ready to tap him in front of it so that it stop this time. Keep him moving. Keep him moving. Come on. Keep him moving. Tap there. Tap there. Tap there. Come, come on. Come on. Tap. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, now you gotta go through it. Oh my god. He's a very talented guy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to try one more time or no? Yeah, wait till he gets straightened out over there. Okay, come on. But you got to keep him moving. Keep him moving. Tap, come on, tap, come tap, on, tap, come tap, on. tap, 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 tap. Keep him moving. Tap. Good boy. Right, there you go. Good. Now let him canter on around there once and over. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of the way. Keep going, keep going. That's the way. That's the way. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Good there boy. we go. Good. Now just bring him back with trot and move him down to the other end where he's and away from trot. the top and just let him stretch out the trot. That's just what I wanted. Come on. Yeah, I'll let him get that nice big after trot going. That woke him up. There we go. Come on, trot. Like that. Nice. Right. Into that stretch. Just in the stretch of the trot now. Really good.
Good. Now take him on down to the jump again. Oh, okay. Come on. Keep moving with him. Keep moving with him. 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 Come, Come on. on. Keep moving with him. Run Whoa. with him. Run with him. I don't think I can do that. You got too far behind him. Okay, I couldn't again. do that. Okay. okay. Get him there this time. Come on. Get him there. Keep oh, him. I don't think so. Okay. No, I okay. can't do that. Now try. Now try from there. Come on. Whip up. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Come on. Stay there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Good, Good boy. Good job. That's what I want to say. Good. Now back to a trot again. Moving them and back trot. to the other end. And trot. And you can do it. Yeah, the trot again. All right. Good. Trot. You know, a big guy can jump. I like that. Just keep that and just let him stretch into it now, forgetting about the jump for a minute. Come on. Good. Come on. Drop. Keep that. Good. Like that. Keep that. Keep it going for a moment. Good there. Now let him walk. And walk. Walk on. Good. Now, Ron, you can take the jump out of the way, and I'm ready for you to get on. Okay. And whoa. That was, he was very good about that. Next time we'll do it again. We'll go the other way. At one point, he put his foot like between the two higher poles. I saw that. I was like, what? <laughs> you can just pile it to the side, right, Will? Yeah. Just get it so it's out of the way. We might need it again for his. I wouldn't too. say along the wall, Ron. Like right over here. So that, Ron, yeah. just pile it right there on that side right there. It's fine. Or pile it to the inside, in the middle. Yeah, that's so what I was saying, yeah. yeah. So it's not in the way of the wall. <laughs> now we can lunge a little farther back if we have to lunge. Yeah. I want to see how he goes when you just get on him before we put him on the lunge. I want to see if he goes first. He gave us a couple of pretty athletic jumps there once he got going. <laughs> I laugh because, you know, Duke just kind of went over it without even a <laughs> slight thing. Helen's like, I don't know about this. Made a big effort. He's blowing hard. He is. <laughs> he well, that's what this is for. You know, the jumping just gets them to spurt a little bit, you know, push in a little effort that they don't necessarily make with, you know, on their yeah. own without, without it. Gives them something to perk them up a little bit. And, of course, they have to push off the back end. So yeah. it helps them develop the back end when they do it correctly. Even those traps through it were pretty... Amazing yeah. in a way. He really yeah, lifted really his good. legs. I mean, when I was doing the ground pole work, I guess I wasn't doing, you know, Cavaletti where they were raised. I was just doing ground poles to trot through, yeah. um, which he liked doing. He seemed very happy with it. Didn't balk at all at it. We laugh because we have a ditch in the big paddock out there. And all our horses will jump over it, no problem. And then you watch Calvin jump over it, and it looks pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what was that, Calvin? Uh, well, he did a pretty good job over the fences today. When he actually <laughs> jumped, he got his belt working, got his knees up. Yep. Good boy. Come on. Come on. 
and pull. Good boy. I don't have anything. Okay, let's go large in the walk to start with. Let's see how he does. Good. Keep that going. You can turn a little uh, turn by the center line, do a little bit of a leg heel to the right, to the left, I mean, sorry. Good. Very nice. That go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he's going to jump it. I know. Right? <laughs> he did look like that. Like, yeah. I'll jump it. Now, when you get on the long side, ask him to try. Let's see what we get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Trot. Put your shoulders back a bit. Remember, you, remember when the horse is sticky, you want to be a little bit behind the motion. So keep those shoulders up and back. Come on. Your chest. Keep them going down through there. Keep them going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Going. Good. Try to loosen up on your reins a little bit. Let him have a little more head and neck in front of you. Can you begin to open up and do a stretch? Just continue large. That's what you're doing. Trot. Okay, let's go ahead and put him on the lunge line. Ron is still there. Hey, Ron. Gonna put you on lunge the lunge line. Please. Calvin, why? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> We're making you work today, Ron. <laughs> on all this, we'll go out down beyond that the blocks. And just try to widen your circle at first, just getting him out of the way from Ron. And you get him into a stretch if we can.
just be very sure he doesn't end up facing into those jumps and going over them with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and trot on the circle. And trot. Go ahead, push them along. We're on. Yeah, top of your whip. He gets over himself. That's better. Good. Yeah. Keep it going. Just gives it up and we feel like he's going easily without having to be pushed. Good now. Good now. Keep that. Good. Come on. Try it on. Good there. Good. Keep that going. Good. Keep that active. Like it. Good. Very nice now. That. Widen your circle a little bit. Try to bring his hind quarters a little bit to the outside so we can engage him just a little bit more. Keep it going. Resistance. Ron, let go of the string, like you, the lunge line, because you're holding it. Good. Can you just give him more? Because he'll go out if you give him more. Good there. That's good. That's on his bike. Keep it going. Yep. Good. That. Very good. Now. now try to bring him up a bit from the stretch. See if you can keep this same trot and bring him up a little bit more into a working trot. See if we can maintain it. That good, much better. Keep it on the circle. Keep it up like that. Good. Let him stay up. Right there. Yeah. Good. Good. Right there. Really good. Now right, we're getting something. Keep it right there. Got to push his hind quarters a little bit more to the outside. He's still going with his shoulders a little bit out to the outside. See if we can make his hind quarters go a little more to the outside. I like that. Up. Good. Keep that going. Keep it going. Good. I like this. Keep that. A little tap from you, Darcy. So you ask him rather than Ron. So be sure that you're doing most of it. He's there to help you, but you be the one tapping him with the whip a little bit, using your leg, and being sure he's staying ahead of your leg. So he's listening to you and not just the lunge line. Keep that going. Much better now. Keep it right there. Try. And now let him stretch all the way down again. Keep it going. Like this. Very good. Like there. It's really good. Now bring it back up again. Keep it going. Same strength. Keep your upper body up. So you're always a little behind the motion of this. Right? Keep bringing him on up a little bit more. Try to work the hind quarters to the outside of your circle. Try to put him a little more shoulder four on your circle so we keep that inside hind leg engaging as we try to bring the neck up a little bit like that. Really good now. Much better there. Keep that. Bring it up a little bit more. Go on and bring it up a little bit more and position him a little more shoulder four. That's getting better. Keep working on that. Like that. Good. Hind quarters to the outside. The top of your whip behind your leg on the inside there. There. Like that. Stays up into the bridle like that. Good. There. Keep that. A little more shoulder forward. Once again, try to bring the high quarters to the outside. Forehand to the inside. Keep it going. Don't let him quit on you. Don't Honey, let him I quit need on. you to keep him going. Come on. Yeah. You have Sorry. to hit him, maybe. Uh, be careful. We don't want Ron to hit him with the whip. We don't want to get you fucked off or something. So you, you know, <laughs> a little bit. Be careful. 
doing this. Good. Now keep trying to move his hind cord a little bit to the outside. Take a little contact with your range there. Softening him to the inside. Move his hind cord to the outside a little more effectively. Yeah, keep that. Bring him up. Now bring his pole up. Shorten your reins and bring his pole up now. That's pretty decent. Keep that. There. Keep that. Keep that. Keep him up there now. Now push his hind quarters a little bit more to the outside so he stays there. Good. Like this. Keep it there. Good. Pat. Don't let him stall on you. Keep it going. Yeah, good. Good there. Very good there. Keep it going. Tap. Right there. Good. Now let him walk. Ron, stay in the ring, but unhook him. Whoa, Calvin. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Okay, go ahead and walk on. And you stay there in the center, Ron. And again, back into the trot. And trot. Yeah, I'm on the circle. Yeah, man. Ron, you All might right. have to use the whip a little. Back and up if you need to. Just to. If you need a little help, back it up. Keep him going. Keep that going, good. Keep it going. On your circle, keep it going, tap a little stronger. There, there, now we're getting something. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. I like that, keep it going, right there. Much better, keep that, keep that. Keep it going, tap with your whip. Good. Now go large, Let's see if you can go around the arena now. Ron, you stay at this end as she goes large. Keep it there, keep it there. Keep your chest up, lifted, keep them ahead of your leg. Tap with your whip there, coming down the long side. Your shoulders back like that. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right through the short end this time. Like that. Shorten the reins a little bit there. Like that. Good. Keep it going. Like that. Good. Now around Ron again. Much better there. And circling around Ron again. This end. Right there. Good. Keep that. That. Again. Good, right there. Now ah, we're getting somewhere really good now. Keep that, keep that. Don't let it change. That's the way you've got it. Bring up the pole a little bit. It's getting too low again. Let it bring, come up again a little bit. Right there. Stay on your circle one more time around. Move him off your inside leg. Move the hind course a little bit outside. So he bends a little bit. Up into the outside rain a little more. There, keep that. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Now go next time around, go large again. Go large. Keep that. Right there, really good. Keep this. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Good. Keeping them in the bridle right there. That's really good. Right there. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now change the rein across the diagonal. Maybe pass the jump and then turn. There. Like that. Try to keep it going as you change direction, Ron. Stay in the center there. Just in case. Keep it going. Much better. Now circling around, Ron, once. There, good position there. Keep that. Darcy, you tap him with the whip once. This is to you as you keep those shoulders up and back. Right there, good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Like this. Ah, we have a horse. Keep that. Now let him stretch all the way down. Keep it going. Like this. Really good. There. Keep that. Keep it going. Around your circle. Keep that. Good job, right there. Now bring him up. Come on. That's it, keep going. Shorten your reins, bring the pull up without losing any of that energy. One more circle there. Tap again with your whips. You need to get those shoulders back when you're going to use your whip and your legs together. So you be sure that you're a little behind the motion in case he does buck a little bit. Bring him up a little bit in the pole. He's pulled up a little bit more. Another circle, keep it, tap. Pop that inside the leg again. There, good now, keep that. 
Keep that in a good mind right now. Keep that right there. Keep that. Now go large down the next monk side around the arena. Coming through that short side, a little tap there when you have the opportunity right in there. Can't escape you. Good job. And then straight on down the long side. Go large. Really stretching yourself up, pushing your hips through to your hands like that. Really good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Tap, tap. Let him put on you. Tap. Now put those shoulders back and tap them. Really get your shoulders back. Come on. Come on. Come on. This, this has got to be all you here. Good. Go. And go large again. Good. There. Keep that. Now round Ron again in the circle. Good. I like this. Gives it up. Really good there. Really good there. Keep it going. On top again. Tap. You can come through the hind quarters a little bit more. Tap. Good. Good. There. Keep it. Keep it. Now let him stretch all the way down. Keep it going. Push him through with your hips. Keep your chest lifted like this. Good. Really good. Like that. That really make it work for you in this stretch now. Like that. Really good. Like that. Excellent. Keep that. Keep that. Round your circle. Yep. Keep it going. This is strong. Like this. Yeah. Good job. Now bring him up again in the reins. Keep it going now. Right there. Right there. Keep it going. Shoulders back. A little tap of your whip as soon as you're feeling slacking off a little bit. Really kill your shoulders back when you do that. Like that. Like that. Tap Come again. On. Tap, tap, tap. Don't let him quit on you. Don't let him quit on you. Whatever you do. He never gets to decide to quit. Good. Like there. Good. Keep it. Another circle. Let him stretch all the way down. Good. Like that. Good. Good. Keep it going. 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 Good. Now bring him back up again. Good, right there. Good job. Come on. Tap. That's it. Tap. Really put those shoulders back. Don't let him quit on you. Like that. Keep it going. Come on. There. Tap. 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 Don't let him quit. There. Good. Now let him walk. Good boy. Yeah. Well, just let him stretch out now on the walk. Good job. Did you say I could dismount? Yeah, oh. you can miss it. You okay. Can dismount. Stop and dismount. Because when we're done, we want to get right off so we don't keep put. We're pushing him. <laughs> yeah. We want so we want to stop. Now later on, we'd like to be able to go on and walk the horse out and this sort of thing. But when we've had a tough lesson, we always want to bring it to an end. Yeah. Go you know, off and say, okay, you're done. That's what the job is. You know. Good job. But that really got to a good place with him. Yeah, it did. It's just a little bit of a mental thing. As I said, I think it got started with him getting a little foot sore, and then he goes, oh, I don't want to work. And, you know, with he's just that kind of a horse, you know. Yeah. But you have to stay on top of that. He will take advantage of it. But that was really good, and I really like what the jumping did for him. I, I yeah. Really him up a little bit. Once again, it's a way of getting him to make an effort without having to just whip, 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 trying to make an effort. Yeah. Too. Will jump pretty naturally like like that. It perks them up a bit. They start thinking about it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, he did really good stuff. with that. He's always kind of like, Ugh. but that got to a really good place. I mean, he wanted to quit on us there. He was tired, but that, but he kept going. And once again, didn't give you too much. But just that thing of really trying to keep your shoulders up and back, and uh, when you use your whip, really being sure you're behind the motion and your wet, your legs are down deep around the horse when you use the whip. So that okay. He doesn't throw, because if you're even slightly forward, the horse bucks up, it throws your pigeon forward. So yeah. whenever you always want to be behind the motion. Yeah. You know, going, I know in theory what I want to do. What I actually do is two different things sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. When we all do. But um, that really good I'm going to watch this one. Okay. I'm going to watch this one because I want to see myself and, you know, where I was. Because I think in my mind I had one idea. I just want to kind of confirm 
where I was yeah. or wasn't, you know. I mean, you were pretty good most of the time. It just, I mean, the very beginning when I mentioned it to you, your children before. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, the guy just kept saying that to remind you, stay yeah. back. So okay. that when you use the whip, the horse comes out ahead of your leg. Yeah, and yeah. Cool. And I really appreciated but, that. Those are mine. Yeah. I have so one I you, question, actually, yeah. this time. Mm -hmm. So I felt like toward the end there, I was noticing that when we brought him up, that's when he wanted to stop. When I let him stretch, he would seem to go. Um, yeah. But we kind of tried it a few times. Like, would you say that that, because I think in the past I've heard you say, if we bring them up and they go just like they were, like we let we do it. But if they don't, then we don't do it. So I was just kind of curious what your thoughts were about that. Well, we want to push it a little bit. So, I mean, yeah. we always want, we don't want to just, I mean, they're never going to just do it just because yeah. you know, we bring them up. So sometimes, but, you know, if we can't, then, you know, we do what we can. If we can't, we have to let them down. Yeah. They're usually going to move better and more actively in the stretch at this level until they really develop a top line, you know, but he's yeah. well on his way. But, you know, once again, and every little bit makes a difference with a horse like this. You know, sure. This week he can do a little more grazing than he maybe did the week before. He looked a little bit fatter. Yeah. And all that makes a difference. I mean, as horse we have Q is the same way. Like yesterday she came out and, I, you know, I've been experimenting with trying to get some grass. But every time I give her this grass hay, teff hay, she bloats. And like yesterday she came oh. out. It took me like 15 minutes to get her over the bloat and start to move. Now, this morning I didn't have that problem at all because I made sure I didn't give her much of that yesterday. Yeah. You know, but it, it can make a huge difference to how they go. I mean, their stomach is bloated. That's like you and I. Yeah. I mean, do you want to go running when you feel like your stomach yeah. is bloated? Yeah. Well, of course you don't. Well, they yeah. feel the same way. So yeah. getting them not to do that. And, of course, the problem with these kind of horses, they love to eat. You know, they have... And if they could stand, I mean, they, they would founder themselves if they could, if they could, you yeah. know, they'd stand there and eat themselves to death, you know. Exactly. But unfortunately, we can't let them do that. <laughs> but, okay. uh, but I really liked it. I mean, once he got over the thing, and even it was very quick on the lunge line, you know, yeah. I think the other is a bit of a, um, it will help you when you can't get it, by all means, have Ron help you, you okay. know. But you take over more of that control, really being sure that your shoulders are back, you know, and that yeah. when you that you're ready for it. Because we yeah. always have to be ready when we tap a horse with the whip that they may respond. And they yeah. may respond by bucking. That's something that, you know, is part of this game. So you have to be sure that you balance that, that you know, that you can handle what you ask for sometimes. Yeah, you know? Exactly. And <laughs> you know. And staying behind the motion, learning to do that is one of the biggest things. So yeah. Continue this week just like you did. If you want to throw another day, like like if you have a day and you don't have the saddle on, do another day of jumping. Do the other side. And just about you don't know, need to go any higher. Just yeah. high enough that he has to make an effort to okay. actually jump a little bit. So about where we were, you don't need to go higher than that. That's enough, to, you know. And even as the pole on the ground helped him. I mean, er, er, yeah, all those helped, things. Yeah. Even just picking up his leg a little more to go over a single pole is very helpful yeah. for this kind of horse, you know, because they don't like to do that. So you know. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, his thing would be to drag himself along by his shoulders as he always had before you started this. So, sure. <laughs> you know, uh, there you go. But any other questions today with him? But no. I felt, felt I got to a good place. No, I don't have any there other was, questions. I felt like there was less overall resistance I in agree. him. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, in terms of him really being pissy. But the pissy was more like a mental thing rather than, oh, my feet are sore. I didn't yeah, feel like exactly. that. It was yeah. just like, okay, can I get away with this? You yeah, know, kind of I agree. Yeah. So, okay. So keep up the great work. And once again, it, as long as, you, you know, if you can't get it, as long as he's backing up, as long as you get there every day, you're headed in the right direction, yeah. no matter how you get it. You know, okay. It will begin to work. <laughs> you know, he'll get the idea. Yeah. But it's that every day he's got to know that he's got to come out and do it, whether it's with somebody on the ground backing you up or not, you know, until it just becomes more of a habit, if yeah. you will. Okay. Be good. So, all right. Take a minute, and then we'll see you, Ron, in a few minutes. Yeah, do you want me to put the ground pole stuff away? Um, I, I'd like to see him jump again today. Have you been jumping him a little bit since I saw you? I just did it once since, uh, like, before like before the last, last lesson, lesson, yeah. So I've had pretty good luck with him this week, okay. just with the lunge line okay. and getting on okay. and getting him. So I mean, well, then I, we can just, we can we can just do it. We can just do that if you feel like I just if you you know if it's coming out and he's coming out and starting to go then we're in the right yeah and we don't do yeah he's that. he's he's okay with that okay that sounds good all right I'll see you in a couple of minutes then sounds good okay. thanks okay.
Okay, we're back live. Okay, we're back, everybody, here with uh, Duke and Ron. So we were just talking about him. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've done for the last week? And Yeah, so uh, I rode on, uh, on, we had our lesson on Friday, I think, and then I rode on Saturday. I uh, did uh, the lunging, working hand lunge, then I got on him. He was a little bit, I, I had to kind of move him along, but once I got him to a certain point, he was able to trot a little bit. And I got him in a decent spot. It wasn't as good as if, if uh, Darcy was, you know, on a lunge line lesson. Um, so that, I did that on, on um, sat, Saturday. And then later in the week, we did uh, a lunge line lesson where I lunged Darcy one day and she lunged me. And mm -hmm. it went pretty good the first time. Uh, the second time, it didn't go so good. We just couldn't get him where he needed to be. And then I had mm -hmm. Darcy get up on him to, to see if she could get him there. And, you know, it wasn't that he wasn't moving forward. He just wouldn't move forward with us on it. Like his lunging, his <laughs> uh, canter, everything looked great until somebody got on him, then he kind of gets a little sticky, doesn't want to move. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, let's proceed. Let's start off with the lunging and see where, see how he wakes up with that. You should do pretty good. He's, there's a couple deer right outside the door he's looking at. A little fun. Hmm. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> he's used to seeing them. Walk this way, dude. Come on. <clears throat> you, don't, you don't need to knock everything over. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. Come Well, we can go ahead and go if he wants to start. Starting out very well this morning, afternoon, I should say. Yeah. 
Okay, that's getting better. Good. Very nice. Getting better. Good. Good. Yeah, that's much better. There we go, getting there. Good. Let him walk for a moment. And walk. And go ahead and tighten your side reins like five holes on either side. Let me see what that does. But I like how active he is out there. Yeah. Stretching a little more consistently, but it's got a pretty active trot. I've got three holes left. Well, then take up three. Yeah. Do the three. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You can go ahead and change directions while you're at it there. Yeah, all righty. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can get him to pick up that walk a little bit. Come on, walk on. Go ahead and trot. If he wants to go and trot, it's right. But make him active in the trot. So he doesn't get to go to, from a lazy walk to a lazy trot. You want to go in the trot? Good, but it's got to be good and active and forward. Yeah. That's getting better. 
a little tap of the whip and push his hindquarters away from you a little bit more. Come on. That's getting better. And again, tap his hindquarters there, push him away from you a little more actively. He does that. Good. Same thing there again. Give him a tap with the whip. He wants to canter a little bit? Fine. Now push him on a little bit in the canter. So he goes with the canters a little harder than he wants to canter. There. That's it. Canter. Yeah. Now bring him back to a trot. And trot. There we go. Better. Yeah, that's much more like it. Keep that going. Much more like it. Keep that. Good. Good. That's getting much better now. Good. Like that. Really good now. Keep that. Good. Keep that. Good. Good. Really good now. Keep that. Very nice. And let him walk again. And walk. Walk on. Good there. As you come to the center line, go ahead and halt and change directions and again. And walk. And who? Okay, bud. Come on. Come on. Walk on. Walk on. Come on. That's it. Walk. Good. And right away, just trying to push those hindquarters out away from you. We get the same kind of trot that we had in the other direction. I like how active he's wanting to be. There we go. Good. Much better. Keep that. Now, just trying to give him a little more room so he has a little wider circle. Like that, as long as he's going. Like that, good. Keeping this, much better. Good, that's good. That's good, like there, keep that. That's a good shot now. It's definitely improving. Much better. Keep that, really good there, really good. Keep that, very nice. Keep that and active around your circle, just like that. Really good, right there. Really good shot. Much, much better. Keep that. Excellent. Keep that. Really good, right there. Fantastic. That's really good. Now let him walk again. And walk. And as you come to the center line, again, change directions. Okay. Just doing this a couple of times in each direction, just to be sure he quickly gets there, but that really got to a good place. And who?
Okay, move out. <clears throat> and move out. And then into a trot whenever you're ready. The way of pushing those hindquarters out away from you a little bit to get that same trot that we just had. Nice and active, like this. Really good. Right there. Really good. Keep it going. Trot. Good. Keep that. A little bit stronger so you can give them a little tap. A little more. Trot. Good. Right there. Good. Now ask him to canter. Canter. Good. Well, just kind of keep that going. Let's see if we can get his neck out in front of him a little bit. Keep him going for a minute. Canter. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going for a minute. That's getting better. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Canter. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Now we're starting to get something like a canter. Start to use his back. Keep doing that. Keep him going for a moment. He gets the neck out in front of him again. Good. That's getting better. Canter. Now back. Yeah. Now back to a trot. Good. And trot. Good. Right there. Back to that good active trot again. Right there. Right. Right on. Just keep that. Right on your circle. Really good. Really good today. Excellent, right there. Just like that. Keep that going up. On your shirt. Really good. Right there. Keep that. Keep that. That's really good. And again, as you come to the center line, go ahead and walk and halt and change directions. And again. walk. And hold. Really good. Now this this has been this is really good. It's a good improvement what I'm seeing here now. This trot's really good. Much improved. Yeah, I think it's really been helping all the between trotting and cantering and yep. jumping and just everything's building his muscles That's up pretty it. nice and come on. Look on. That's going to go around you there, brother. Okay. Oh. Oh. And right away into that trot. Like this. Really good, right there. Very good. Keep it going. I like that. Good. Let him canter a bit if he wants to. Good. Good, that's good. Getting the neck out in front of him there. That's just what we're looking for. Keep that. That's really good. And then back to a trot again. And trot. Much improved. And trot. And let him settle into the stretch again. Really good there. Really good. Right there. Keep that. Really nice, right there. Keep that. Excellent work. 
Really good, right there. Keep that. Excellent, right there. That's really good. Really good. That's what we want to see. Keep that going. Okay, now let him walk. And walk. Walk on. All right, nice and back into the stretch for just a moment in the walk. Oh, gotta walk, dude. Not done yet. <laughs> okay, go ahead and send him on the trot if he wants to go on. Send him on a little stronger again, like that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Right there. Very good. Very good. Uh, like his belly has really come up a lot this last week. Looks much better, much much less belly. Good, like that. Now let him walk again. And walk. And walk. And walk. Walk on. Good. Walk on. Good. That's good. Good, you can stop with that. I'm ready to get you on. Now, and is Darcy there so she can help us if we need it? Who? Yeah, she, I think she's just taking horses up. Yes. And who? Okay, yeah, she's there. Well, I like the thought we're getting on the lunge line. Yeah, maybe in a second. <laughs> Come on, dude. So should I keep the uh, side reins at that? Yeah, that are? was just perfect. I got right into a stretch. That was really good. I mean, that was really about the best I've seen him lunge. I mean, that was really, once you got him going, he was quite good in both directions. Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't look like he had the brakes on. You know, it looks like he was, once you're getting into it, he's going. So if he can do that without you up there, eventually he will be able to do it with you up there. Yeah, that's the key is just to get him to be consistent like that when I'm on him. That's it.
I'm gonna walk first. Come on, buddy. more step. Good boy. That's good. Oh. Let's just see how he starts off in the walk here today. So just keep trying to open up that walk a little bit to get a little swing in it and see if that's possible today. Not anybody backing you up. Really take that minute when you first get in the saddle to stretch yourself up and really lift your chest, flattening your shoulder blades into your back, finding your seat bones underneath you, keeping your legs back and under you. And just keep trying to open up that walk and let's see if we can get a little more swing in that. Before we do anything else. And just keep going large, trying to make that a little more active. Let him stretch out in front if you will, but little taps of your whip there behind your leg. Keep trying to open it up till he starts responding a little more and opening the walk up. Oh, it's getting better. Ready to give him a little tap with your whip there behind your leg. Focus him a little bit. Really keep yourself behind the motion a little bit here in the beginning. As long as he's up like this and not really ahead of your leg yet, then you want to stay back with your shoulders a little bit, keeping him out ahead of your leg. And just keep trying to make him more active as you go large. He opens up and stretches into the contact because you can get enough to get him to do that. So I'm going to see how far I can get without you out there helping. That's it. That walk is getting better. Keep working on that. And he starts to stretch ahead of you. Keep trying to get more energy out of him. And the more active step. You can tap with your whip here and see if you can get him a little more lively in front of your leg there. And of course, you always use your whip at the same time. So the whip, you put your leg on, nothing happens. Boom, you back it up with the whip and then touch again with your leg. So it's never just the whip. It's always so that we want the horse to associate the whip with our leg. So we touch, if nothing happens, boom, you back it up with the whip and then touch again. You're getting better. Keep that going. Keep trying to open it up in front of you. That's part of the problem. You see how he's always kind of bending when they don't have much impulsion like this. He kind of pushes the shoulder into the wall on you. So keep trying to straighten. Go ahead and change the rein across the next diagonal. Just keep going in this walk. i see where we can get to if we just let him do this for a while. Okay. So Darcy, are you still there? Yeah, she's there. Come on. We'll there go. Go. Keep that going. I think I gotta lengthen my stirrups a little bit. One okay. Hole. You look a little short there. We'll go ahead and stop there in the center and do that. Right.
kind of hard for me to explain without being there for you, but you should be able to change your stirrup length without taking your foot out of the stirrup. Just by pulling up on the thing, you can pull it up and then loosen it down. This yeah, is a I'm, safer way to do that. I've tried doing that before. <laughs> I'm not that quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, okay. All right. That looks a little better now. Come on. Yeah, we changed it so Darcy could ride. And then, you know, I thought I had oh, yeah. a whole count. Just right keep opening up that walk as you go large. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Darcy, come on out in the ring with the whip to help. And I just want you to just be behind him a little bit. We're going to see if we can just get this walk open and a little more swinging. Yeah, she's not here. Keep again. trying to open it up. If she helps, good. There, that's starting to look much better now. Keep that coming. That wall coming like this. Hey, Darcy, can you come out? So, yeah, Darcy, if you could just come out with the ring uh, with your whip there. So, you're just going to help him a little bit to back him up a little bit. Let's see just if we can get this walk a along. All right, come on. Walk on. Come on, walk on. Come on. Gotta walk. Come on. All, right. All I'm looking for is a big swinging walk. You can help him there. Come on. Do you want me to stay in a circle or you want me to go large? Yeah, just, just go large. Just keep going large. Okay. okay. Just keep trying to open it up. Darcy, don't get too far ahead. Darcy, stay back a little bit. So you're kind of a little bit behind his hindquarters. All right. Okay. Keep trying to open that up a little more. And Ron, you try to do most of it in terms of if she's there to help a little bit if necessary, but you keep trying to back it up with your whip there, getting him ahead of your legs. You just get him freed up there like that. He starts getting something like a free walk. You don't feel like the brakes are on. That's all I want to see. Like that. There. Now we're getting something like that. Keep that going. Just like that. So stay there with him. Help him if he needs it. But that's looking much better now. Just take a little contact. See if you can soften him to get it a little stretch. A little bit deeper yet even. Keep that going. Good. Just keep that going up the next long side. See if we can speed it up a little more once again. See if you can generate enough action that he wants to stretch down. When you generate enough impulsion from behind, he will want to stretch forward. So see, trying, Darcy, if you need to back. There you go, like that. That's what we want to see happen. If he doesn't have that, he's basically going with the brakes on. Keep that going. Keep trying to open it up. Darcy, back him up again a little bit there without trotting. That's going to walk first. Get the walk right, like that. Walk with some energy. And there, that's all right. Keep opening it up. So again, try to generate enough energy that he starts to stretch. And that's how you know you are generating enough because he'll start to let the neck out in front of him. Like that. That's getting better. Keep going. Keep going. That's looking better. Like that. There. Good. Like that. Like that. Much better now. Keep that going. Keep it going. Come on. Now, Ron, give him a little more of a tap there. Now, you try to back it up yourself. You can be a little, you can be a little bit stronger with him when she doesn't respond. So we remember every horse has a different level of sensitivity, and we want to find that level so that the one, one time we tap him is the right amount for the horse. Good, Ron. Keep trying to open it up. So it gets in the stretch, and we feel that walk become open. And Darcy kind of back him up coming through this corner here. Your corner will help you to get him a little more active yet. There, getting out in front of you. Really try to lengthen it down this next long side. Both of you, Ron, uh, Darcy, stay with him and really help him this time. I want to see if we can really generate enough impulsion to get him back in the stretch again. So little touches, keep them little taps of your whip there. There, can you get that out in front of you? Come on. Down the long side. Keep it going. Stay with him, Darcy. 
There, keep opening it up all the way. So it gets all the way up. Keep trying a little more, a little more. So it gets active enough to get a stretch. Like that, good. Keep going, tapping. Like that, there, good. Keep working that to get enough to get the job done. Keep going, Darcy, back him up again there. A little tap, every step. That's getting better. Keep it going. I'm going to get the walk right. Yeah, that's getting better. Keep that there. Now it's starting to walk. Keep it open. Keep that like that. Good. Starting to get somewhere. Keep it going. Darcy, back him up again. Sometimes you see him slacking off. There, like that. Really good. That's it. Keep it going through this corner here. Keep it going. It just loosens up and starts to go. Same thing coming out of this corner here. Really try to get him to go here. Darcy, run your lash out and just give him a little tap. Of course, Ron, keep your shoulders back. Maybe just soften him. See if he tries to take off like that. There. Now we're getting something like this. Good. Keep that. Like that. Now we're getting something like a walk. There. Good. Much better. Keep that now. Much better. Come back him up. Keep it there. Keep it there. Good job. Like this. Keep it going. Just like this. He understands what the job is. Here we go. Good job. Keep it going. Just like this. Good. Let that neck as far out as he wants to get it. And again, down this long side. Darcy, back off a little bit so you're a little more behind him. Careful coming to the corners. And Darcy, give him a little tap. And that lash out, give him a little tap there. Good. And same thing. Run back up with your own whip. There you go. Like that. That's what I want to see. Keep that going. Tap again, Darcy. Again. There, like that. Good. Keep it going. I like that. Now, stronger coming out of this corner. Darcy, back him up. Run. Shoulders back there, there, like that. That's what I want there. Now he's starting to move like that. Good. Like that. Good. There. Like that. Really good. Right there. Now we have a walk. There it is. Like that. That's what we're looking for. Right there. Keep that going. And of course, when he gets that, even if it's just for a moment, do nothing for a moment. When you feel like he's starting to glide along, even if it's only stride or two, have a moment that you don't do anything. So he knows that that's what you're looking for. As soon as he starts to slow down, then, of course, you have to get after him again. But we want him to get the idea that the idea is we get into this uh, rhythm and we stay there. Keep it going like that. Do that corner like that. Really good now. There. Good. Keep that going like this. Okay. Just into the walk. And once again, yeah, right out in front of him like that. Really good. Really good. Really good. Now on the next long side run, let's try to go to a trot and see what happens. And Darcy, just kind of stay with him as best you can. You don't have to chase him down the long side, though. <laughs> Once he starts going, if you can back off, you can just kind of cut across. Can you be? And just kind of back him up for the transition there, once Darcy. He starts to make the transition to trot. And then let's see where we get to. Yeah. Keep him going. Come on. Not too bad. Trap. Come on. Trap. Come on. Come on. Get away from the wall. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Trap. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put him on the lunge line. It's all right. Just, that's what I needed to see, see where we're at. So go ahead and let him walk and let's put him on the lunge line. Nice walk after that. Come on, walk on. Got to walk. Come on, a couple more feet. <laughs> Not done yet. 
and who? Who? Okay, on the server. Okay. Well, over. Try to spend a minute there with moving those hind course to the outside a little bit while you're in the walk there. A little tap with your whip behind your leg. Responding a little snappier to it, if you will. Like that. That's better. Good. Keep that going around your circle. Like that. Good. And then go ahead and trot. He wants to move up into it. Good. Keep going. Darcy kind of backing it up a bit here. We're getting into a trot. Looking for that trot that we had before. Keep opening it up. There you go. Let him go into that stretch if he wants to. That's good. Up in the right direction, anyway. Darcy kind of back it up. Get behind his hind quarters a little bit. Good. There. That's better. That's better. That's better. Good. 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 Keep this. Keep it going. Trot. Come on. Kind of keep him in off that wall just a little bit so he doesn't run. Run into the wall there on the other side. Keep it going. Like that. Good. Keep it going. Tap. Keep it going. Open it up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's better. Keep it going. Good. Keep him going. That's much better. Keep it going. Tap. Come on, buddy. There we go. Good. Good job there. Keep that going. Keep it going. Keep it going now. Now, Ron, really put your shoulders back. Lift up your chest. Got to really keep them ahead of your leg. Now. That's it. Lift up. Good job. Keep that. Yeah. I wish you could be more consistent. He's back and forth. It's ridiculous. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Tap. Tap it a little yeah. stronger. Good. That's getting better. There we go. Keep that. Keep it going. There, good. Keep it going. Like that. Good. Keep it going. That's better. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Much better. Keep it going. Good. There. Into that stretch. Good. Keep it going. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Really good. Keep it going. There. Good. Now. Good. There. Good. Keep it going. Very good. Keep it going. Good. Good. Now we have something. Keep that now. Keep that. Really good. Really good. Just like that. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now don't stop. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're going to try to sustain yeah. this now. Keep it going. Good. Good. Keep it going. Really good. Keep it going. Good. Keep it going. Really good. Keep it going. Little tap of your whip run on your leg there. Good. I like that. More respect for you. There. Good. Keep that going. Soften him back into the stretch. Good. There. Excellent. There. Keep that. Keep it going. Tap again. Keep it going. Keep it going. Trying to push this a little bit today. Really good. There. Keep that. Ah, very good. Stop. Keep it going. Tap. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. If we can get it a little bit stronger. Come on. There. Drop. Drop. Good. Good. There. Better. Keep it going. Tap. Tap. Good. Good. There. Good. There. Keep that. Tap. Keep it going. Keep that going. Really good. There we go. Excellent. Keep this right there. Come on. Good. Keep it going. Don't let him stop. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got it. Keep it going now. Keep it going. We're going to make him sustain it here a little while today. Keep it. Good. Really good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. A little tap. Keep it going like this. Good. Good. Much better now. Keep that. Keep it. Keep it going. Don't let him quit on you. Stay back there with the whip. Keep it going. Good. Like how his back is coming up there. That's really good. Keep that. 
Keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. Really good. Keep it going a little stronger again. There. Good. Good. I like that. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't stop. Keep it going. Push the envelope here a little bit today. It's good. Keep it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. A little stronger. Good. Keep it going. A little stronger again. There. Good. Good. There. Good. 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 There. Keep it. Keep it. Like that. Good. Keep it going. A little stronger again. Tap. Much better. Now let him walk. And walk. Walk on. Much better. Just keep that walk for a minute now. Big active walk. Like that. Keep that nice free walk. Good. That's what we're looking for. Right there. Keep that going. Good. Like this. Keep that walk going. Active. Good. Good. Prepare to trot again. And again into the trot. Trot. Like that. Like that. Good job. Right away. There we go. Keep it going. Like that. Now a little bit stronger. A little more than he wants to give us. Right there. Really good. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep it. Keep that going. That's really good. Really good now. Keep that. Keep that. Really pushing his back up underneath you. Keep that going. A little bit stronger. Kind of fade. Trying to put on the brakes again. Tap. There. Good. Very good. Keep that going. Tap. A little bit stronger. There. Tap. And again. Doesn't get to quit. <laughs> Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. A little bit stronger. One more time here. There, 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 there. Now let him walk again. And walk. And you can let him walk. That's good. Now just walk again. A nice free walk again. Find that walk where it feels like it's moving underneath you. Going somewhere like that. Got the feeling like he's just trying to die in the spot. <laughs> That's good. Now, as you come around the center line there, you can halt and change directions. I know. Keep it going. Need a break, Darcy? <laughs> How's she doing? Everybody, I'm tiring you guys out. Come on, a little bit more. I, I'm, there. I think Darcy's overheating. No, I'm oh. fine. I'm fine. You're fine? You, you need a break? I'm tired. I'm just saying it's, it's hot. Tell him I'm fine. Okay, she's fine. <laughs> okay, walk on. Good, that's better. Good. Good. Come on. Over. Now that walk is starting to open up. Good. Doesn't have a little more neck out in front of him there. Get a little more active. Good there. And now into a trot. Trot. Keep your shoulder there. You go. He gets into the stretch. Now, Darcy, try to back it up a little bit. See if we can get him into that same place that we got him into the direction. So we start feeling that the trot is moving freely. Got him putting on the brakes. Keep that going. Keep it down. Let him stretch if he wants to. Good. A little more active still. That's better. Good. Now, Ron, try to tap him with the whip and get a little more power out of that once we get that stretch there. Of course, if he pops up, then you have to tap him again. Come on. Tap again right there. Good. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. So, again, we're going to try to push the envelope here a little bit. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep backing him up. 
there yeah, like that. He really flexes the heart. Put that lower back up a little more. See if you can get a little more out of him. A little more active. That's getting yeah. better there. Good, 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 good. Like that. Like that. Good. Keep that all the way around. Keep going. Tap. A little bit more. We get a little more lift with him. Again, Ron, top behind your leg. Right there. Good. Good there. Keep that. Keep that. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Around the circle. Ron back. I mean, Darcy, back him up a little bit. We get a little more power in it. Would be good. It's coming better though. There. Keep that. Keep that. Now see if we can get a little more power in it. From that position, give him a little tap and see if you can get a little more push off his back end. There. Good. Keep it. Yeah. Good. Like that. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good. Keep that going. Step. Good. Keep that. Keep that. Keep it going. Good. Keep it going. Much better. A little bit stronger once again. See if you can get a little stronger shot out of him. There. Good. Good. There. There. Keep that going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Like that. Good. Good. There. Good. Keep that. Like that. Keep it going. Good. Much better now. Keep that. Now ah, we're getting there. Good. Just like that. Keep it going. Let's try to push it a little bit. See if we can keep it going for a few minutes. Build some condition here. Like this. Good. For both of you. Like that. Good. Keep that going. Don't just slack off. What's that? Stop. Whip. Stop. Good, there, 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 good, good. Keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. Tap. I like this, good. Keep it going. Very good, very good. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. The time Tap. around. Tap right there when he starts to stall. Tap. Come on. Good. Tap. Good, I like this. Keep it going. A little bit stronger. Very good. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Really good. Keep it going. Really good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice. There we go. Right through there. Keep it going. We try to stall right here at that. Very good. Very good. Now, now let him walk. And walk. What a good boy. Just let him stretch out in that walk for a second. Okay. We can just free, get that walk feeling that free and loose again. Like that. Really, really good. Keep that. Tap. There, good. Good. Right there. Right there. Really good walk now. Keep that. Really good. Really good. There. Yeah, very good. Now halt and jump off. Pat him on the neck and give him a reward. Very good nice. Good job, Luke. Good boy. That was really good, you guys. Good job. That was by far the longest we've been able to keep him going underneath you. So that's what we want to do is once you, you know, keep working him like this until until you get on one day, we'll start it and he'll just be just as free as on the lunge line. Yeah. And in the meantime, just we keep trying every time you do this, try to extend it a little bit longer and a little bit longer that he holds it. So we start building some more condition. But yeah. that was really good. I thought that was the longest we've been able to sustain it. And it's just a matter of fitness with him. It will come in time. Yeah. You're doing really good. I think, it, yeah, it was good. You know, once he gets to the point where he's not stop, go, stop, go, that's that's the hardest part because you like exactly and that's it you know and once again it was that was this horse's problem that's why you got this horse because <laughs> he was yeah. doing that same thing to them he was just shutting off so we just got to get to the other side of his old habits you know yep and he was obviously winning that battle you know because <laughs> they gave up right <laughs> yep, exactly so he's going to try the same thing with you but we're never going to give up <laughs> so we should just continue right. on the uh lunging and the working hand yeah. and then do a lunge line lesson but Darcy yeah. and I have been doing just flip-flopping days, so that way, because otherwise it gets really late. Yeah. So, 
that's really good. And once again, a couple of days, you know, mix in a day of jumping every now and then with him because that really helps to fit the condition. But he's looking so much better. His neck looks better. His belly is coming up quicker. He doesn't look so bloated. Yeah. Um, just all of that is coming. So everything is improving. You yeah. know, and then once again, the longest we've gotten him to stain that trot underneath you. So I just in got, time, that will do it. I got to get it so I could get, keep him in shape all year long. That's the key. Well, that's it. You know, yeah. you do. And with these kind of horses, I mean, that's the thing about, you know, and uh, like the Darcy uh, horse, the same thing. And these kind of horses that are, horses to come in two varieties, crazy or lazy. And the ones, the ones that are lazy ones, we have to keep working on that fitness all the time. Yep. They get a couple weeks off and they quickly get fat again. But once again, it gets easier. Yeah. You know, once you really, really get fully trained and trained right, it doesn't, you know, it takes no time to bring them back. But once again... That's a multi-year process, yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. but you're well on your way. But once you get there, then once again, it doesn't matter so much. But in the beginning with these kind of horses that are so lethargic, you know, well, you've got to get them all the way there. So, that, you know, they really begin to enjoy moving because that's all they know, kind of, oh, be lazy and kind of try to get out of doing everything. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and that usually that often comes from, you know, they were probably once again, we saw that lesson that they were trying to give on the source. They were asking him to do ridiculous things he couldn't do and then trying to force him to do it. And, you know, they couldn't get him to move, you know, and the yeah. girl battling with him nonstop with spurs on and everything else. So yeah. she just got into that point where he was tuning it all out, you know. So as he gets fitter, it will get easier and easier. Chip away at it. Good so very job. good job. Any other questions this morning? Uh, nope, I think that's it. Uh, next week, no lesson. Darcy's gonna be out of town. If, okay. if that changes, I'll let you know, but no okay. lesson next week, and then we'll start okay. up the week after. Okay, I'll we'll go ahead and put you down the following week so I have it. Maybe just touch yeah. base with me somewhere along the way. Sounds All good. Right. Great thank, job, you guys. Thank you, Wonderful Will. Both. Appreciate right. it. We'll see thank you later. You. You're welcome.